Hey everybody, it's Ms. Dietrich helping you on Lesson 2.5, which is on Model Fraction Division. Now we're going to take a look at some of the ones that are on the bottom here. We're going to look at number 4. There's other screencasts that I already have on there for some of the other ones, but let's look at number 4. Use fraction strips to find the quotient, and they're giving us 2 thirds divided by 4. So what I've done here is I've taken a fraction strip, the whole thing would be equal to 1. I've highlighted 2 thirds because that's what the dividend is. Now they're asking us to break that up into groups where there's four of them. So let's take a look at what that would look like. So if we break the two-thirds up into four equal groups, looks like we have one-six here for the first red box, two-sixes, three-sixes, right, and four, four of those, right? So we broke it up into four groups. Now the question is, how much is this value worth, this one box? What is it? Now, if we take a look at the algorithm, let's just uh, go through that quickly. We have to keep this, change this to multiplication, and remember 4 is equal to 4 over 1, so the reciprocal of that would be 1 fourth. And if we kind of go through the work here, let's take advantage of the fact that we can pre-reduce. We can pre-reduce right here the GCF of this number and this number is 2, so we're going to divide both of those by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 2 is 6. So let's take a look. Is one of these red squares equal to 1 6? And it sure is. So let's think about this. Our, div our dividend was 2 thirds, so I had that highlighted here in yellow. Let's move the boxes out of the way so you can see that. So you can clearly see here's a third, here's a third. So there's two of the thirds highlighted. We broke it up into four groups. One, two, three, four. And the answer or the quotient is how much is this one box? What's the value of that? And the answer is one six and you can clearly see that it lines up with one of the sixes when we compare it to the other fraction strip. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If you need help on five and six, look for other screencasts. It'll be posted on the website.